Greetings and welcome. Welcome to the premiere episode of the uh, new worldwide radio program, which we call simply Radio Today. The Christian Entrepreneur Network presents a program for you entitled Radio Today. My name is Stan Houston, and I'm the lead broadcaster and the hope and one of the founding members of this outreach around the world to help you, particularly if you are a person who knows that uh, you want to follow the master's way. When you are you a Christian? You raise your hand. Yeah, I am. And perhaps if someone says, "Are, are you an entrepreneur? Uh, are, are you one of those people who is an entrepreneur?" Perhaps you think like an entrepreneur. Maybe you want to be an entrepreneur. But when the term comes up, entrepreneur, are you interested? You raise your hand. One of my mentors from long ago said, Stan, the world will step aside and the world will honor the man who will raise their hand. Keep that in mind. Raise your hand. Well, let me give you a little background about what we're doing and hopefully where we're going. As I said, um, my name is Stan Houston, and I'm the leader, and uh, this is not uh, my first radio roundup. In fact, I've been involved in uh, radio around the world for a number of years, many, many years, more than I'm going to talk about right now. And so uh, I've done this for a while, and uh, this is kind of my passion. I've been many years involved as a business performance coach, working with entrepreneurs around the world. and. Uh, I've often wanted to say, let's have something that's just for the men and women who follow the Spirit. Everybody's got a little bit of Spirit in them somewhere, but the Spirit, and they want to do and live and be something different, and they want life and business to work a little bit better. They want their entrepreneurialism to be fruitful and practical and useful and profitable, and they want to do well at it both for themselves, their family, their community, and perhaps the causes that they believe in, and perhaps even the kingdom of God that is fundamental to who they are. If that's one of you, this program, this experience, this daily broadcast, mostly daily, is for you. Now let me just ask you a question because uh, I do a lot of questioning because I want you to discover some of the truth yourself. I'm not going to preach at you. Uh, I'm not going to preach to you. Perhaps I'm going to share, seek, and speak with you and hopefully in 12 to 20 minutes. That's what this program is about. It doesn't go on for a long time. We have our freedom there, 12 to 20 minutes. Uh, kind of a commute, take a little time over lunch, over coffee, while you're uh, having a, a few minutes to learn something. Now we're going to make it fast-paced, and we're hopefully going to make it valuable in 12 minutes. And you're going to be able to walk away and say, I learned something, I can do something, I can share something. As one guy said, make me think I'm smarter than I really am. And if I can fool a few people, that would be even more fun. Well, I hopefully have a little fun at it, too. All right, here we go. Let me ask you this question. What if you had the same opportunity I'm having right now? Well, I can speak to the world. I've got my own radio show. Uh, this is going all over the world. Millions of people could hear it. That doesn't mean there are, but they could. Because it's internet on-demand radio. Some people say that's a podcast, but it's a radio show. It's just on the internet, and because it's on the internet, it doesn't take what I used to have, a 500,000 watt transmitter that took two diesel engines to power it, and seven 700 foot towers to get that signal into the air. It's on demand. It's in my computer to your computer through the internet. What an incredible opportunity. I hope you're gonna take advantage of that because you know what we're gonna do? We're going to teach you how to use Internet On Demand Radio to get your message out, to get your business promoted, so that you truly have a worldwide global platform like we do. We're going to help you do just that. Now, here's the question. What would be episode one in your show? 
You've got a business. You've got a story. You've got experiences. You've got things you'd like to say. Things you might want the world to hear. Think about that. If you had the opportunity, someone gave you 12 to 20 minutes to bring your story, your message, whatever you want to say to a worldwide audience, what would you say? I teach every entrepreneur, better be ready for a microphone that's offered to you and a speech that you have an opportunity to speak, say, or tell. Be ready, always, to tell your story, to speak your message, to share your heart. Do something important with an opportunity you have. Okay, are you prepared for that? What would be your premier episode? Think about and then do something about it. Okay, enough of that. Now we're gonna go back to the story. Hey, uh, as I said, this is not my first rodeo. Uh, I've done this a long time. Done a lot of radio shows. Some of them were good, some of them were not so good. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I've uh, done a number of things. One of my friends is an entrepreneur and he has a wonderful statement. <laughs> he says this, he says, I'm an entrepreneur and I've started many businesses and most of them fail. <laughs> well, and he said, and that's true. Fortunately, I've had a, a few that didn't. And I've been very, very fortunate that they did very well. But I'm an entrepreneur. Maybe some of you are smiling right now as you think through your own experience. All right, here we go. I've done this before. Now, uh, one of the programs I used to do a number of years ago, it was actually on a large radio station that was based in the Southern Caribbean because the radio propagation was very good there. And it was called Caribbean Night Call. And uh, it was a program for the late night. People who, you know, Started at 11 o'clock, so you know, though many people obviously had gone to bed, but there are millions of people who are up, obviously in other parts of the world. Obviously, they work the late shift, they work night. There's all kinds of things that keeps millions of people up during the night. And it was a very popular program. It uh, had a lot of music, uh, some news, some sports. It had some real musings. It was spiritually based in that we were trying to actually use those late night hours to think about some of the things in life and uh, the work we do that were important. Hopefully inspirational. As someone said, uh, keep my mind awake, touch my heart, give me a tear, from time to time make me glad to be alive. And that's what we try to do on Caribbean Night Call. I learned something in those programs, and this was long before the internet, that people wanted me to do a request. So, and we did that. Now, you couldn't email me or anything like that at that time. You actually had to go to the trouble of taking your pen and you know writing out a postcard or a note. And uh, I got letters all the time, Stan at Caribbean Night Call. In fact, it, I got so many of them that the local post office, if they got Stan, Caribbean night call, they just delivered it to the radio station. They knew it was for us, and we, they got so many of them. And they would oftentimes peep people who wanted me to play a special song or a request or perhaps give a greeting to someone they know or love. And whatever we could, we tried to honor those requests. I learned something. It was kind of a unique little radio trick, but it worked very, very well. What I'd do is I'd say something like this. Hey, tonight we have a call, uh, a letter call on Caribbean Night Call. Uh, this is from Barbara. Barbara works uh, the night shift uh, at the General Hospital in Jamaica, in Kingston there. And uh, she's up late a lot, obviously. She has to take care of her duties, but when she gets a chance to sit down, she loves to listen to Caribbean Night Call. And she has a request, and uh, she uh, has a special friend, and she'd like us to play in the name of a song for her special friend. And for her, and then she'd say, and for me. Then I would say, the name of the song, and then I'd pause and say, Barbara, in Jamaica, this is for you. I discovered they loved that. I wasn't trying to be particularly, you know, just, it's just something I said. This is for you. 
And I would have people say, say it again, Stan. And what I discovered is those were four powerful, almost magical words. I've taught for years that everybody's wearing a little bit of a secret sign. They hang it around their neck, but we never see it because it's invisible. But the sign says, please tell me I'm important. Everybody you meet today, tonight, is wearing that sign. We all want to feel important. Please tell me I'm important. And so when I said, this is for you, People were touched. Say it again, Stan. Well, that's one of the things I've learned that perhaps you as an entrepreneur need to think about. Your customer, your client, the person you are hoping to uh, make an engagement, a connection with, um, this is for you. This is for you. I did this just for you. I played this music just for you. Now, let me make it very practical how it worked. <clears throat> I worked for many years helping men and women sell insurance and investment services. Now, usually what happens if somebody bought an insurance policy, you know, and they qualified and they paid their money and the uh, agent had to deliver the policy. Now, now, many of them, I found out, they would put it in an envelope and they'd just send it out to people. I said, that's crazy. Why are you doing that? They just sent you a check for a lot of money. They just helped pay you and you stuff it in some stupid envelope and send it off. Oh, well, I feel good. I said, deliver it in person. But here's what I want you to do. Because almost all of those insurance policies came in kind of a little uh, cheap plastic folder that had the name of the insurance company on it. I said, go down, spend a few bucks, get a nice little, maybe even a fake leather, but maybe even a real leather little folder, and then spend a little extra money and have a little engraving with their name on the folder and have it on the folder. And I said, then put the insurance policy in that little folder and take it to them. Call upon them, either in their office if you have permission or ask permission to take it to their home or meet them at a restaurant or whatever the case might be. And you greet them and you thank them so much for their business. And uh, if it's appropriate, perhaps you say, well, uh, I hope that uh, I meet more people just like you. So I'm, I'm grateful when you recommend me to your friends. And I want you to know, even if it's not about insurance or something like that, if there's anything I can do to ever help you, you need help on something. Let me know. Perhaps there's a chance that I know somebody or that I can help you. Just let me know that. And by the way, here's the insurance policy and we're going to explain it to you. And you take the folder and you give it to them and you say, ah, this is for you. This is for you. And you give it to them and they see this nice folder and they see their name on it. Ooh. And they, oh. Sometimes they really run their hands on that embossed name? Thank you! This is really nice! How did you make them feel? There's an old saying, many of you know it, uh, they'll, they'll uh, soon forget what you said, but they won't forget how you made them feel. Just one of many stories and many situations where you can say, this is for you. Okay. <laughs> My own little personal story. Um, <clears throat> I carry this pen. By the way, I have about 50 of these very nice little pens. Uh, they're well, they're beautiful. Now, it's not because I can afford 50 pens, but I can make pens. I know how to make pens. It's one of my hobbies. And I buy a piece of uh, maybe exotic wood, or literally this case, this was made from old countertops that I scrapped from a construction project. And I took them and put them on my lathe and I made this nice pen. It's really quite nice. It looks very expensive. And I suppose it might be in some cases. But oftentimes when I'm dealing with people, uh, whether they are clients or customers or not, uh, they may see my pen or I show them my pen and uh, they'll like, oh my, that's a wonderful pen. And I say, do you like it? Oh, I like that pen. 
You can have it. This is for you. This is for you. That's a personal story. We're bringing an end to this program. Remember I said it's no more than 20 minutes. Lesson for the day. <laughs> All right. Four of the most powerful words you can say. This is for you. Now, as you go about your day, as you think about how you're going to do business, how you're going to deliver your services, how you're going to deliver your programs, remember, Barbara in Jamaica wanted to hear, this is for you. And almost everybody you're going to run into today and do business with, they would like to believe that they're special enough that uh, this is for you. I knew uh, a woman who actually worked in the insurance business, and she said, the secret of my success, everybody who I talked to thought that I was their best friend and that I was doing this just for them. We had 2,700 clients and customers, and every last one of them thought they were number one. This is for you. All right. By the way, this show is for you. So we bring it to an end. You're going to be on this show. You're going to submit. You're going to listen. You've got things to say. You've got stories to offer. And so we're going to say this show is for you because we want you to be a contributor. Obviously, you can help us. You can give donations. You can buy our stuff. You can do, recommend us to others. But you also have something to share. It's a Christian entrepreneur network. It's not only a network of radio and television and blogging and whatever else. It's a network of people. And we're looking for people like you who will join us as a contributor, as a participant, as a player. You know what that means on the Christian Entrepreneur Network, and uh, you'll join us from time to time uh, by having a contribution, something to share, something to say, and uh, be a part of this Worldwide Radio Today show. Four powerful words. This is for you. There you go. And now you know the rest of the story about how you can make your mark and life and work can go better as a Christian entrepreneur.